Alright, so this is the Emerald Agassi cast iron 12 inch skillet. I've been wanting a cast iron pan for a while just because I want to start cooking with more cast iron, like use less aluminum, that kind of stuff, move away from those cheaper pots and pans. And this is the Emerald Lagasse brand. It's a 12 inch skillet, about a two inch deep as far as shallowness, two, two and a half inches. But um, I bought it, it was at Sam's for a long time, then I go to Sam's and of course the day I go there ready to buy the, the, the skillet, it's sold out. They're gone. So I had to get online, found it, 16 bucks, 18 bucks after taxes where I live. And this is the skillet. It came, comes with two little silicone rubberized grips to put on it, uh, which are actually very helpful. I, I take them off because I, I was throwing them in the I, the recipe I was making for this video goes in the oven, so I wasn't really too concerned about it. I didn't want to get the silicone grips super hot, even though I think they can take the te oven temperatures. I just was using them more as pot holders than as uh, grips for anything while you're cooking them. But yeah, definitely a cool little touch, and you're talking about for under 20 bucks. Under 20 bucks, 12 inch cast iron skillet. If you get on Amazon and you look for a cast iron skillet, it's going to be like thirty dollars so first impression of the pan it uh if you have a grandparent or you have some old cast iron stuff that's still in pretty good condition you'll notice that stuff's very smooth uh this pan's a little more rough to the touch and based on my research of that apparently since they've been making cast iron in i guess the last 20 or so years they've streamlined the process to make it less expensive and the one thing they take out of this is to uh remove that last bit of polishing to it. doesn't actually affect much of the utility of the pan, but it makes it a little less non-stick than like grandma's pans used to be. Uh, other cool thing about this is it's also a uh, pre-seasoned pan, so no seasoning, all the hard work of seasoning is done, although it's not that hard to season a pan, but you're basically it's ready to cook with. So I basically ran some water through it just to rinse it off and get any particles from the shipping out of it. Uh, don't use soap on them, obviously. But yeah, that's all it did, that's all it was. It has a little E on the bottom of it. Here's my terrible camera work. But yeah, this is the pan so far, this is the unboxing portion. All right, so even though this pan is pre-seasoned, I'm gonna use oil anyway to season it. So there you go, a little, just doesn't take much. A little, a little bit will do you, and the recipe's gonna call for some oh, yeah, oil and vegetables later on anyway, so I don't need a whole heck of a lot. Just get it cut, get a nice little thin layer all around, make sure it gets nice and hot before we put the meat on it. And basic, if you wanna find a tutorial on using cast iron, they're all over the place. It's very simple. It's not as simple as non-stick or using Teflon, but the care is also not nearly as intensive after the fact. So Teflon, you can't put anything on. I use metal cutlery on the on this pan. It's great. So it's a lot, a lot more uh, idiot proof as far as the cutlery goes. But um, looks great. Let's just make sure it gets to a, whatever temperature you need to be at, it, be at and all of a sudden it'll cook what you need to cook on it. So we're going to see chicken get thrown on here and you're going to hear that nice cast iron sizzle and it'll be great. Yeah, sorry about that whistling, guys, but if you want to actually see what it looks like at the comes out and how well it doesn't does or does not stick to the actual piece of cookware, skip to 551 in the video, and you'll be, be able to skip all this, me singing and me singing all of us, or just watching chicken cook, which can be kind of boring.
All right, and here's the finished product, or at least the finished recipe. It's just, uh, it was just a basic. It was going to be like a uh, Mediterranean style food, but then I didn't have any feta cheese, which is kind of disappointing. So it was basically like a bunch of vegetables with some chicken, which is also good in seasoning. But yeah, this is what it looks like. A little bit of cheese on top because everything's better with cheese. And uh, it cooked it great. Uh, you're about to see me kind of start spooning it out here. And it's going to be pretty non-stick once you take a look at it. And as I spoon this stuff out, what you're going to fairly quickly see and be pretty apparent is that there's no sticking. So that's one of the cool things about cast iron that you don't isn't really too intuitive because you think cast iron is a big, hulking, ugly piece of just metal. How can it be non-stick? Well, the non-stick comes in the seasoning. And this Emerald, and Emerald Lagasse's brand of cast iron that he's put out there, it comes pre-seasoned. So all the idiot work's done. And as you cook on it, use more oil it's going to season even more. That's why that whole notion that the pan always keeps a flavor to it, that's where that comes from. They just keep using the oil so you have flavor in the pan. That's why you never cook fish or chicken in the same pan because it can get a fishy taste to it if unless you completely re-season and clean out the old seasoning on the pan because that can stay in there for a long, long time. So if you want to skip ahead just a little bit, you'll notice that there is a uh, cleaning section in about 15, 20 seconds. And here's the cleaning part, the fun part. It didn't take long at all. The pan stayed very hot, so that's why, like, my wife and I had already finished eating. And the pan, we, I get back, the pan's still hot. That's one of the other benefits of cast iron. It stays hot for a very long time, even after cooking. But uh, it came out of the oven, scorching hot. You had to, had to put the pot holders that came with it back on. Uh, when you're cleaning with this, don't use soap. Soap can strip the seasoning. Don't throw in the dishwasher. Do not let it sit wet. So you're basically just going to scrub this stuff out of here. There was a little bit of scrubbing that went on. Very little, I would say. I, this is or this is a real-time video, so as long as this takes me to do, pretty much is about how long it takes. And we're only talking about what, maybe two two and a half minutes to get this thing stripped and clean after cooking a meal on at a high temperature. So pretty quick, and you don't want to deal with anything where you're talking about that. If your fear, if you have a fear of Teflon or fear of aluminum, you don't have to worry about that with cast iron. Uh, it also it cooks a lot more evenly, although the heat was a, it was on a big burner. It cooks more evenly. It's not prone to warping the way aluminum can often warp over time when you heat it too much, or even stainless steel can do it sometimes. But the big issue, but the big thing is, it can be cleaned. I can clean it with a metal scrubber. I can clean it with whatever I need to. I had a little uh, SOS kind of pad there. But essentially, we're talking about a very simple pan to clean. As long as you keep the seasoning up, don't misuse it. It'll be fine. Don't let it sit with water. Obviously, that's any cast iron cookware. Uh, it'll rust very quickly. Your little surface layer have to clean that off. It'd be a nasty experience. All for me, what I do is I just throw it back in the oven. It's still kind of hot after I pat it, pat it down dry with it with a with a rag or a towel, and then it'll dry on its own. But do not let any water sit on it. Make sure it is dry. So make sure you're not have to worry about any kind of liquid sitting on it for too long because you'll end up messing your pan up. It won't ruin the pan, but it will take a great deal of grit and cleaning to get it all the little surface rust out of there, which will entail a great deal more work. So as long as you keep the pan dry. After it's clean, you're good to go. And it clean, comes clean very quickly because of the non-stick features of classic cast iron that's been well seasoned. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.